Hi everyone and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are making a Dollar Tree funnel Christmas tree. It's so cute and it even lights up. first thing we're going to do is stack the funnels from smallest to largest then I wanted to cut those little sides off and I tried using my wire cutters but it was so easy to cut off I just used regular scissors When hot gluing the funnels together, make sure you only put the hot glue on the outside of the funnel neck because we are going to feed light through all the funnels. To make sure our funnels looked more like a Christmas tree, I used foil. And because the neck is so long, I started with the top. Then I grabbed another piece of foil, folded it in half, and covered the white section at the bottom of the tree. I then hot glued everything that was kind of sticking out just to make sure that the foil would not fall off and everything was nice and secure. To cover the tree, I got this garland from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use the whole piece. Starting at the top, I just hot glued my garland and made sure that my tree was nice and full. Then I decided to fluff the tree out and give it just a little bit of a haircut, especially where the greenery was sticking out way too much. By the way, you guys, when you're doing this and you decide to give your tree a haircut, make sure you do it in something that you can, like in a plastic bag or something that you could throw away because this green stuff was all over my office. It was almost like glitter. It would not come off of anything. Next, we're going to light up this Christmas tree. We're grabbing our mesh tubing and the little lights that I got the Dollar Tree. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put batteries in those lights. Then what I'm going to do is feed the lights through the bottom of the tree and secure the battery pack with either hot glue gun or tape. I had some good tape on hand, so I just taped it to the Christmas tree. Making sure that the last light was fed through the Christmas tree, I gave it a little bit of a pinch at the top so that I know that that was my ending. Next, I measured out how much mesh tubing I needed, and it is very easy to stretch this mesh tubing, so make sure you're very careful and give yourself enough tubing. Now I'm simply feeding the lights through the mesh tubing. Here, my silly self thought I can sew the ending together, but when that didn't work out, I just simply grabbed my thread and just looped it around and tied it around the ending. Now I'm going to do the same thing and tie the mesh tubing to my lights at the top. When I turned on the lights and started to put them around my Christmas tree, what I noticed was that last light kept on wanting to slide back because as you're putting the mesh around the tree, you're kind of stretching it a little bit as you need it. So I took another piece of thread and tied right there and I just hid it in between the greenery so you don't see that pinching. Then I hot glued the ending of my mesh to the inside of the Christmas tree. 
For my decoration, I knew I wanted a pop of red color. So I had these pom-poms uh, that I had left over, which are available at the Dollar Tree, and also these little berries that are also available at the Dollar Tree. And I decided to go with the berries. They had a little glitter on them, and I thought they would be just perfect. On each stem, the berries have about three of the little bushels, and I just cut those off and then just started hot gluing them to my tree. For the top of the tree, I'm grabbing this ornament from the dollar store. I'm going to pick the best corner and make sure that faces up and then just hot gluing it in place. 